Maybe as people are still stretching, finding the right posture. Um, I'll just say um, that we're going to do a, um, a meditation now, which is called an elements meditation. Um, elements. And it is based on uh, a perception of the world in the Buddha's time that all things in the world are made up of five elements. Uh, we'll go through them. The element of earth, fire, water, air, and space. The meditation will only include the first four. We won't go into space. Um, it can be just, just to, to say, sometimes when I do this meditation, people think it's a, it's a new age um, import, but actually, no, it's from the Buddha's time. It's based on that way of seeing the world. Um, and it uses our capacity to imagine and to reflect. Yeah, so it's it's might be if those if, if you're not familiar with it, it may be different to other meditations that you know. Um, and as we go through, I'll explain what each what each element is, and um, and then we we go from our direct experience of that element in our body right now to then opening through our capacity to know the world through our mind, AKA imagination. <laughs> um, we go through that to kind of seeing that element in uh, other things in other ways yeah, and seeing that uh, connection. So um, in the tradition, I'll just say that the background in the tradition, this um, meditation comes from the Satipatthana Sutta, the four foundations of mindfulness Sutta. That's where, uh, it's kind of rooted in, um, but it's a practice that's used both for cultivating a different relationship to our sense of self. Yeah. And another way of saying that a, a kind of a, 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 an experience of um, actually being part of a wider network. Yeah. Kind of what I was touching on before, not just being an independent manifestation of life, but actually being an interdependent, yeah, dependently arising. So that's why I wanted to begin with this meditation um, today, just to start off at the unusual end, perhaps, of practice. So yeah. So we're already probably in our meditation posture, but and still be really valuable to check in. And to take a few moments to make any adjustments that are needed to the posture. So that the body is as supported, stable, and steady as possible. As we're doing this, we're already bringing the awareness into the body with that intention of compassion and care. And we're just going to take a few moments to invite the body to, sorry, to invite the awareness to rest more fully into the body. 
Inviting the body to relax more fully into the support of the seat and of the ground. And so we'll take a few moments to uh, settle the awareness in the body. And also, if we can, to soften and open the awareness through the body. Soften and open the body itself as much as possible. Not pushing, but inviting. We're opening to a sense of the body sitting here. And seeing if it's possible to have a sense of the whole body. And then feeling into the body, we're going to open our awareness to the first of the elements, which is the element of earth. And the earth element is whatever has solidity, form, materiality in our experience. The experience of the body. And so right now in this moment, we can feel the earth element in our own body. Perhaps in the contact of the body with itself, maybe the hands on the knees, on the lap, or touching each other. Maybe the teeth and the mouth touching each other, or the tongue in contact with the roof of the mouth or the bottom of the mouth. So that sense of form, of solidity, of texture. It's 
is the earth element that we can feel meet in our experience of the body right now in this moment. And we can open this contemplation, this reflection on the earth element in the body through remembering the presence of this element in the body. It's there in the form of the bones and the muscles. sinews, the ligaments, the tendons, everything that has shape, that has form, that has materiality. It's there in the teeth, in the cartilage of our nose and eyebrows. There in the skin and the nails and the hair of our body. So we can open and feel and explore the earth element as it appears in the body right now. We can open further to see uh, the same element of earth, of solidity, materiality, form that exists in this body also exists in other bodies and beyond the bodies. So right now, as we sit, we can feel the contact between our own body and that which supports it. And in that seat or in the ground, there is also the element of earth. There's also solidity, form, materiality. So we can feel the earth element in the cushion or the, sit, the chair or the ground beneath us. And it's the same earth element in the floor, in the walls, in the ceilings. That same element of earth exists in everything around us. In natural objects and human-made objects. In the roads and the trees. in the stones and the rocks, they all contain this element of earth. 
as do all living beings. Reflecting on the earth element in our body, we can see that we are constantly taking in the element of earth, the food that we eat made up of earth element coming from the bodies of plants, perhaps of animals. So the earth element is constantly entering our body, but it is also constantly being shed, being let go of, leaving the body. When we lose hair, when we cut our nails, through the layers of our skin, the earth element is shed and leaves the body. Through our feces when we use the toilet. So reflecting in this way, perhaps we can see the earth element flowing through this body, received from the bodies of plants and perhaps animals, and then shed, let go of, to change form and become hopefully nourishment for other forms. When we reflect in this way, we can see the earth element. It's like a river flowing through this body, constantly changing. Cells of the body being replaced over time, this river of the earth element flowing through. Can we see the element of earth as not me, not mine, not myself? but a flow of conditions passing through. Creating and falling apart, falling away. In each moment and over time. And let's take a few minutes to reflect silently in this way. 
feeling the element of earth passing through this one body. Like a river. Not me. Not mine. Not myself. We're tuning into this river, this flow of the earth element. And inviting ourselves to let go of the element of earth. And to open to the element of water. So the element of water is everything that is fluid and liquid. And just like water, it includes that binding, that sticking together capacity as well. What is cohesive brings things together. And right now in the experience of the body, we can feel the element of water in the wetness of the mouth, the saliva. Perhaps also in the wetness of the eyes that we can sometimes feel. And dampness on the skin. We can open to the presence of the water element 
in the body. So present in the blood, in the tears, in the sweat. Making up 70%. of this body and yet so much of the time invisible to us. This water element is there on the moisture of the breath. And we know this same element of water also outside the body, in the dampness of the earth, in the rain, in the mist, in the fog, in the snow, in the ice. in the streams and the rivers and the seas and the oceans. This planet filled with the water element. In the bodies of all living beings. The element of water, liquid, fluid, cohesive. So we can feel the element of water in the body and outside the body. And we can open to the water element flowing into the body through what we drink and eat. And that same water element also released from the body through sweat and tears, through urine, and feces. Through the moisture on the out breath. So the water element also is a river flowing through this body. Taken in, received from nature, released, shed back into the world. And we can see this too as a river flowing through and remember that this water element also is not me and not mine, not myself. Let's take a few minutes to reflect on that feel that.
Letting go of the water element. Gently opening to the element of fire. Everything that has energy or temperature to it. Right now in the body experience, we can feel the fire element. Perhaps in the heat of the contact between different body parts. In the warmth inside the mouth. in the temperature of the air flowing in and out of the nostrils as we breathe. We can feel the fire element, fire element also in the temperature on the skin. And we can reflect on the presence of the fire element in the body. In the energy of the digestive system. in the chemical processes happening in the cells of the body. And the firing of information between brain cells and nerve cells. All of these are the fire elements within the body. And the same element of fire exists outside of the body, beyond the body. You can feel it in the contact of the skin with the air around it. That same fire element. Appearing in everything that is manufactured, that is made. Present in all life forms. There in the core of the earth with its heat and its energy. There in the coldest glaciers and snow peaks. The element of fire received from the sun itself, processed through the bodies of plants. And this body too, taking in the element of fire, 
through food, through clothing, through forms of heating or cooling. And the element of fire also released and shed out into the world through the temperature of the skin, through the heat or the coolness of the breath, through the warmth of our urine and our feces. Flowing through. So the fire element also a river and a flow. Passing through this body. flowing through this body, not me. Not mine. Not myself. Letting go of the fire element, gently opening to the element of air, that which has flow and movement. That is not dense. And in this moment, we can feel the air element right here in the breath, flowing into the body and spreading as gases through the blood, and then flowing out again into the world. Same element of air flowing in and out of the body.
exists in the world around us. In the air. Within the forms of inanimate objects and of living beings. We can feel with each breath how we receive the element of air. from the atmosphere and from the plants that breathe out the oxygen that is needed by this body system to survive. Some of the oxygen that we're breathing in this moment breathed out by trees that are long dead and yet it continues to circulate through us receiving the breath receiving the air element and the life that it offers. And the out breath offering out the air element to be breathed by other beings. Offering it to the trees and the plants in our environment. Are opening to feel the air element also as part of that river. Not me, not mine, not myself. Flowing through, moving through. from one life form to another, shared. From our first breath to our last breath, shared. Not me, not mine, not myself. This river of elements of earth and water, fire and air, flowing through this body with no beginning, with no end. All of it shared. None of it me or mine or myself. Can we open to that with compassion and interest as we sit here for the last minute or two of our practice together?